you know, it, just a heck of a win. Um, uh, a lot of character, borrow guys and their guys. Uh, uh, hard game. Mason Jones was ridiculous. God, is he good? I mean, I got a lot of respect for that young man. <coughs> um, for us to come into this building, one of the hardest buildings in the country to win in year after year after year after year because of the players, the coaching, the fans, uh, and to have the courage to figure out a way to get our fifth high major road win of the year. Uh, I think it speaks a lot about our kids and, and the kind of guys that we got and the growth that we've shown as a team. And uh, um, really, really proud of our guys. Bad thing is we still got 11 more to play. So I'll be depressed by tomorrow morning. But we're going to enjoy this right now. Frank, your all's defense on the last possession, you made Joe take a pretty tough shot. I guess that was Lawson. And who was that that was denying Jones the ball? Just well, How good was your defense there at the end? Absolutely. Uh, Trey Hannibal, I've been begging all year. When, when, when we're struggling to defend a real good guard to get somebody to say, I got him. That young man said, first time all year, a guard says, don't switch, put me on him. And I said, you got him. And Trey did an unbelievable job uh, of defending that action that they ran to get him the ball in the middle of the floor. Uh, so then they had to go to Joe and then give A.J. Lawson a lot of credit. He, he was disciplined. He didn't jump at the shot fake. Uh, I thought A.J. played his best. His, his most complete basketball game of the year for us today. Uh, he was really good defensively. Um, um, uh, he, he had a bounce to him. He had a, uh, just an aggressiveness to how he played today. Um, uh, but, but those two, all, all five guys were connected in, in our, uh, we, we call it fist five, which is our switching man to man and trying to gap everything. Um, and uh, they, they were all connected in what we did. And uh, give those guys credit, because that's that's those two those are two those four of those five guys on the floor are really really hard to guard. Frank, you've been begging for courage from your team all year. When when did you sense that you had that tonight? Um, it, it's been coming. I, you know, I, I I forgot to ask Moss. Um, our team was distraught with the Kobe Bryant news. Our practice on Monday was really bad. And, and it wasn't bad from a negativity standpoint. It was bad from a, a just like a hollow emotion. And I couldn't figure it out. And, and I got home and my son called me Monday night and he was distraught with the whole Kobe situation. And so, I, you know, my son's in college, so I connected A and B. When I came in the next day, I asked our players, I said, were you guys bad yesterday? because of the whole Kobe situation, and they, they were all like, yes, absolutely. Uh, and then we had a great practice yesterday. Um, uh, this team's learning how to practice. They're learning how to not get tied emotionally to the previous day, which in life you want to succeed. If, if you deal with today with emotions tied to yesterday, you, you got no chance. And uh, uh, we've grown up a lot. It's been coming. It's been coming. I hope this, this win continues to build that team, our team's excitement and enthusiasm for continuing to get better. Every time Arkansas seemed like they got within one position, yeah. you guys were able to even run yeah. on them on makes. Is that something you saw on film? Kentucky did that, or is that just something you all do yeah. regularly? No, that's what we do. We, we uh, uh, you know, for whatever reason, uh, there's, there's this false narrative out there uh, that um, I like to play slow. And it's the biggest phallus in the history of mankind. What I do is if you get out of the way defensively, I take you out of the game. So we don't get out of the way defensively. Maybe that's why we foul too much. Maybe we need to get out of the way a couple times. But, um, uh, but I like I, the best time. To, I can't stand trying to score on set defense because it's really hard. Uh, and the best, team, the best time to run on people is on made shots. Because made shots, teams usually relax for that quick second. So if you can get that ball in bounds and go, uh, it gives you an opportunity. We practice that a lot. There's 30 seconds into the second half. Isaiah Joe hits a three. His next bucket comes with less than two minutes on the clock. What did you guys do to, to kind of take him out of, of the game a little bit? Yeah, we, we had two keys coming into the game. Number one um, was Mason Jones off the bounce. We, we got to keep him out of the paint without fouling. We obviously did a really good job with that one. Um, and then the other one was don't give Joe any threes. 
Uh, AJ was assigned to Joe. That was his. That's why I said AJ had the best game he's had for us this year. I thought he, I thought he was very disciplined defensively um, uh, with guarding Joe. He made um, that three early in the first half on a bad switch, which uh, just a bad switch. I, we, I don't know why we switched, but we did um, early in the second half. I'm talking about. And then he made in the first half. Uh, we went zone, and my one big guy. Uh, decided that he didn't feel like covering Joe, who Scott report says don't let him shoot a three. But uh, but he's a kid, so he made a mistake. And um, uh, I give Joe credit. The t the, I think we lost him four times. I think he made three of the four times we lost him. The other times I thought we were there on the catch. Coach I was late on a rotation late in the game. We made a three to go up six. And, and Mike... Mike gave up two of the threes, both being late. You know, you can't do that. You, you got to get Joe off the line. And um, I thought AJ played really, really well on him. Your, your bench was big. I guess that was a career high for Hannibal and Bolden had a good game. How, how big was your bench? And, and then you guys seem to have an answer every time. You know, they made a run back at you. Yeah, we needed them because we we didn't get a very good game from Keyshawn Bryant today. Uh, we didn't get a very good game from Jermaine Cousinard today. Um, so, you know, those two guys have been the courage that's given our team a chance to get better. Um, and neither one of them played really well today. Uh, um, and I think it was more Arkansas than it was them. I thought they were ready to go. Arkansas just kind of went at them, and they both got frustrated. Uh, but that's that's been, a, I think, a strength of uh, outside of last year, and I think it was my second year where we were down to seven guys, I've always believed in playing a lot of guys because of the way we play defensively, it's taxing on players because we believe in running, it's taxing on players. And lastly, we recruit these kids. I want them to play. So we, we ask them to, to do their jobs, and if they do, i got to figure out a way to get them in the game. So uh, playing fast and aggressive uh, uh, creates opportunities for more guys to play. It's, I've been doing, I learned that from my high school coach in 1981 when I was in high school. Uh, I coached that way with him starting in 1985, and I've never changed. It's it's what I believe in. And Arkansas never could get the lead. You guys were always able. Yeah. Arkansas never could get the lead. You guys were always able to, you know, hold them off. How big was that? That you always seemed to have an answer. That's that's the one thing I was so proud of our guys, and we did it without making free throws or threes. We had opportunities in the second half with free throws and wide open threes to kind of pop the lead a little bit, and and we wouldn't we couldn't put two or three in a row. Um, and uh, um, uh, but we continued to scrap and fight and scrap and fight, and made enough plays offensively uh, to to every time they they you know go nine point game, three point game, six point game, two point game, seven point game, and and every time they closed, uh, we were able to answer until the last minute and a half, and then we how about we can't get the ball across after the half court line? I, it's but. As good as Trey was, he showed a freshman moment there. You know, he forgot that he's got 10 seconds across the line, and then Jermaine's got to catch that ball. But, um, but at the end of the day, uh, uh, outside of that mistake, I thought we did a tremendous job at answering every one of their runs. Last question. What made you want to put uh, Lawson on Joe? AJ struggled some defensively this year, and then was it an in-game call that made you want to keep Trey in there as much as you did in the second half, just by the way he was playing, or was there matchup things that went into it? Yeah, I just thought Trey asked for the. Trey's been practicing a lot better. In our last game out uh, against uh, who was it, Vanderbilt, I thought he played the best game he's played for us. Uh, so he's earning the right to get on the court. And, you know, and we've got a bunch of other guards that are older than him that have just beat him out early. Uh, and he stayed the course, so he's earning the right uh, to get on the floor. Uh, but going into the game, because of A.J.'s length uh, and his quickness, we thought it could neutralize Joe to a certain extent. And, and the fact that, you know, Joe really doesn't play a lot off the bounce. He's more running off stagger screens and depending on Mason Jones dribble drive kicks, that kind of offensive rebounds out. Um, uh, we just thought AJ would be a good matchup there. And that's that's uh, the decision we made. And, uh, you know, he, he made us look intelligent, you know, which is a uh, uh, credit to him. And, uh, you know, but when you're guarding Joe, it makes your gaps bigger. And now it allows Mason Jones to get downhill. We got to clean up our on ball defense. And obviously the plays at the rim. I, I, I didn't. I thought Mike Wildens, uh, for the most part, they didn't play very good at the rim. 
You know, and that's 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 something we got to get. Like I'm talking about blocking shots, taking charges, going vertical. I thought we fouled too much in those plays of the rim. But then again, that's Mason Jones wasn't having it, and that's uh, uh, that's as good a performance as I've coached against in a long time. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.